Okay, right. Now, this is an example of a uh, drawing and what you see here are dimensions, okay? And how we're going to do is for both isometric and orthographic drawing, uh, 5 mm is equivalent to 1 square, right? So that's what we're going to do. 5 mm is equivalent to 1 square. So first, I will demonstrate how I'm going to draw, uh, transfer this drawing into isometric drawing. So what I have here is the isometric paper. Please make sure that it's aligned in the correct way. Uh, for example, this one from here, you can see that there is the title block. So it's aligned this way, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this particular corner right this particular corner and I'm gonna start drawing from there so what I'm gonna do is put this over here and I'm gonna start drawing from this corner over here now this is 110 so how many squares is that so this is 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80, 90, 100, 110. Okay, so this is my whole length of the object. Uh, at the bottom here is a line from here to 70, so there's enough spacing to draw this. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I will then draw a line, make sure that I use a steel rule and draw a line accurately on the and draw 70. Okay, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 70, all right? And the vertical part is 60. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, up to here. Okay, so if I draw, nice, clean, straight line. All right, this part is 30, so I'm gonna extend 10, 20, 30, up to here. And it comes down, okay? Bottom is 25, so 10, 20, 25. So if I extend, this is the line that you will come on to. So this is where I will draw this line, okay? Right? And then I will also extend this over to here and complete this. Okay, so you can see that this line is not perfectly on the blue line and that's not so good. Okay, so we should do it carefully next time round. Right, so I'm gonna now draw this part here, which is 40. Okay, so uh, the bottom is whole whole thing is 55, so I'm gonna draw 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. So this is the point. Okay, and I'm going to project up all the way to here. And then this is a nice line over to this side, right? The back part here is 40. So I'm going to count 10, 20, 30, 40 up to here. And then the whole back part is all the way to 70 as well. So, okay, from here, I'm trying to find where the back line touches, which is this, right? So, this is all the way up to here, right? So, this is 70, so 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, up to here. Okay. Yep. So then this is another line to there. Okay. Right. So this is going to be here. Okay, I can extend this safely down. Right. The back part 
I'm going to draw from here and it's going to be 25. So 10, 20, 25. It's going to extend this way. All right, 210, which is going to be here. So it's 25. 10, 20, 25. Okay, so now since I've gotten this point here, this is 40, so 10, 20, 30, 40. So it's going to be like this. Okay, I think it's going to be like this. And I'm going to draw this over here. Right? So this part cannot be seen. So this is the isometric view looking from this side. Okay? Something like this. Okay? Alright? So that is isometric drawing using the grid.